Hi guys, it's Crypto Cat. Um, this is kind of an update on Ember Coin. If you watched my video from last night, I threw 50 bucks in, um, kind of on a whim, on kind of a tip. And when I threw that $50 in um, to Cryptopia and bought Ember Coin, it was up about 500%. So I just got done from shopping and um, cleaning my apartment, and I came and looked at the computer, and it is up. 2015 um, percent the website I'm using right now is coin market cap it's a really good source of information so then I went to go ahead and sell my ember coin um, to make some money you know what I mean just do a quick exchange because I mean that's a huge percentage gain and I didn't really think I was gonna make that much um, but the thing about it is um, when you go to Embercoin, um, this is the Cryptopia exchange website. And um, when I go to my wallets and I go to my balances, and it's coming up on the screen, just give it a second, it has to load. So here's my Embercoin that I brought last night. Right? Um, I have 2 million or 2.2 .2 million basically Embercoin. And when I went to sell it, if, oh, see, this is what it does. Um, maintenance wallet has code issue. Integer overflow. Trading paused until resolved. So basically, um, I can't trade it on this, nor can I withdraw it to another exchange website. So let's see if I go up here and I go to markets. Let's see what's going on. I mean, it's it's basically like completely shut down. Let's see. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm searching for it real quick. Here it is. So here I'm loading the um, Ember Coin page, and basically here it is. And here's last night when I bought it. Um, and it's the market's totally paused, so there's like nothing I can do to get my coins out. Um, because I was looking at trading it to another account, because here on um, CoinMarketCap.com, if you kind of scroll down, a really good resource is um, you can hit the Markets tab right here, and it'll tell you where else it's actually trading the coin. And right now, um, Cryptopia is not even listed as one of the exchanges that's actually trading the coin. Um, it has Yobit. Coin markets, um, and it kind of shows you the price and the volume for those. But Cryptopia has actually been totally taken off this because it's down for maintenance. So, what I did was I went to Yobit and um, to kind of see what was going on with the price. And here it is um, on the Yobit exchange. And um, as you can kind of see, the price is just like plummeting. <laughs> I mean, it's still higher than it was. Um, the low was like one light Satoshi, and the high was at seven. Um, the last, it was at three. So, um, and we see all these sell orders for it. So the price is just kind of dropping. So then there was another website mentioned, um, I think, what was it? Like Coins Exchange? I don't know. I'd never heard of that one. So I pulled it up for some research. Um, let's see, it says I'm inactive because I don't actually use this exchange. I've never been on here before except to research what's going on. And um, here it kind of has the same thing going on with Embercoin. Um, it's still up 66% on here. And right now it's actually, the price is holding a little bit more steady than um, the Yobit exchange. And if I scroll down to kind of see the order book, I mean, I don't know. It's holding. There's some sells and there's some buys. So that means not everybody's selling it off, at least on this um, exchange. But then um, to do some research, right? So now I've kind of shown you the other exchanges that Embercoin's on or the only ones that are listed. And I've shown you that it's not really working on Cryptopia. So another resource you can use is actually going to be CoinGecko.com. Now what this does is... It's really, really cool. So I can actually put in the amount that I have and it'll kind of convert it to what um, the market value in US dollars is right now. So if I put in, what is it, two, 
excuse me, about 21 or 2.1 million. Let's see if I can get the zeros right. Let's see. It's 100,000. There we go. So it's saying the value of the $50 investment I had yesterday is worth $1,260. So I would love to get that money out, but Cryptopia is down. So that's kind of a problem for me. So I went on here actually to see if there's some market resources. Let's see. Let me find it real quick to show y'all. Oh, here it is. So um, again, this website's coingecko.com. So you can go to trading exchanges. And it'll show you the volume in the market that um, this Ember coin is trading at. So right now we have the volume by market. Um, this is the Yobit exchange we just looked at. And this is Cryptopia. So um, this is showing that it trades mostly in Litecoin. And then it shows you the other coins that it can. Now this is really interesting to me, right? So check this out. The price zoomed up. Um, on Cryptopia and Yobit last night, it kept going up and up and up and Yobit actually only accounts for about 18% of the Ember trading. Cryptopia accounts for 80% of it. And with the Cryptopia market down, um, that means there's a lot of like bids and asks in the Cryptopia queue to buy Ember and to sell it at that price. And, um, it's, since it's totally shut down, we actually have no idea what this price is going to be. It may go back down, you know. I may even lose the $50 investment I had. But um, I may be able to keep, you know, a 1000 or $1,200 in profit too. So basically, like, this is not an accurate representation of the price right now. Because it's only showing you one exchange that only does 18% of the volume. So we really have no idea what the price is or if it's even accurately represented. So that's kind of some information I wanted to give you. And then, so I went over to um, Twitter and I'm going to pull that up now. So um, this is actually the Ember. Um, let me scroll up real quick and then I'll start scrolling down. Um, this is actually the um, Ember Twitter feed, right? Let me scroll back down because there's some stuff I wanted to show you, actually. Um, so right here, this person was like, Dear Cryptopia, the Ember coin is frozen. Please assist us. And there's a cute little cat. Um, so here's Ember's response to this, okay? Oops. It says, work is continuing to correct the issue Cryptopia has brought to us. We have identified the root cause and are updating the code to address the situation. This will require a mandatory update of all wallets. This will not create a fork. Okay, so basically they're saying, yeah, 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 we know the exchange is down and we know that you can't trade. There's something wrong with our software and we're going to try and fix it. So the market froze last night. So it's almost been, let's see if I can do the math. It's been like down for about 18 hours at this point where people haven't been able to trade this coin. So if you scroll up, I'm scrolling up to show you what Ember's response is. Um, here it comes again. It's talking about Cryptopia. It's saying that the trading stopped due to an issue found in the Ember wallet, given the recent uptick in volume. We've communicated with the Cryptopia team, have identified the issue, and our developers are currently working around the clock to solve it in a timely manner. So Ember is actually taking responsibility for the wallet being down in Cryptopia. So it's not, it may actually not be the exchange's fault, and it may be the software behind the actual coin that's going on. Um, now this is really interesting too. So from Ember's own Twitter feed, it says not to trade on Yobit. So the only exchange that's actually trading the Ember coin is that that's actively has any anything going on. What like eighteen percent of the volume? Um, Ember's actually saying that we made an announcement back in October. Um, we strongly advise everyone to not trade on Yobit, as they are the on the wa wrong wallet and chain. Read the full announcements on our website. So I'm really curious. I have to pull this up. Um, 
We've tried reaching out to them for months and have been met with no response. And over a month ago, have removed their logo from our site as an officially supported exchange. Because of this, coupled with our strong belief that they are on the wrong chain and the wrong wallet, we are not encouraging anyone to trade on Yobit. Should you choose to trade, please exercise extreme caution. So guys, um, the funny thing about this is, I mean, it's not funny if you bought some on Yobit um, or you're trying to sell it on Yobit. Um, but they're basically saying like you're not buying any of the coins on the actual blockchain if you're purchasing it on Yobit. Um, that exchange like is not supported by the Ember coin at all. So I have no clue what's going to happen to this um, jump in price. Let me see. Let me go back to the Twitter feed. Um, so this is, I mean, this is just me doing some basic research on Ember coin and what's going on is we don't know if the price is going to drop once Cryptopia opens back up or if it's going to go back up because um, they're basically saying Yobit's not even supported to, tr to trade this coin at all anyway. So all the trades on Yobit that are showing the price increase may not even exist because they're not on the blockchain. So um, this is really just some interesting stuff. Like, I really don't know what to tell y'all. Like, did I lose my 50 bucks? Did I make a grand? I would like the $1,000. I kind of need it. Um, but I can't get access to the coins. Nor do I know if that's even a realistic um, price that it's trading at. So that's kind of the update from that investment that I did last night. Um, if you want more information, I would recommend checking out... Um, Embercoin's Twitter feed, you'll get some um, good resources right there. But for my research, is um, it's kind of just like one of those things where I have to sit tight. But um, that's the end of my episode. But as always, don't invest more than you can afford to lose. And be kind to one another.